And this is the uh, last video um, in terms of fixing the uh, dial and uh, I've now got the new transformer in place and I've powered on the, um, uh, the unit and the middle dial seems to be appearing. It's not as bright as I was anticipating but it's kind of bright enough but um, I have noticed that about after a few minutes later it does actually improve in its intensity so um, it definitely has worked. So um, the thing that I want to point out is that when I um, when I actually put the dial in, uh, one of the things that um, I learned was that you have to calibrate the needles. Um, and the way to do this is if you put if you connect the the, the dial, put the key in one uh, position one, uh, all the dials basically reset back to their uh, zero location so you just put move the needle uh, first of all cl clockwise and then just go anti-clockwise until you reach that marker but obviously at the point where you feel that it is actually stopped and also I've noticed that if you push this uh, needle a bit too too hard it does actually touch the dial so you need to keep this uh, elevated a little bit all the other needles were much more easier to calibrate um, so the whole process took about five, five, ten minutes, I think, and uh, the needles were calibrated. And um, so the main thing is the dial in the middle seems to be appearing, and some of the, the error messages they was generating, it's no longer generating those anymore. So uh, thank you very much for watching, uh, and I hope uh, somehow these videos were useful to fix your uh, instrument cluster. Thank you.